HitFilm Sensei here. In this video, we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts for HitFilm for Express. So the first thing you need to know is, is that there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts, right? And so I have created a reference sheet, a quick one page reference sheet that I use for myself. And I thought, you know, I use this all the time. Maybe I ought to share it. So there's a link in the description below to that quick reference sheet. Okay. The first thing you probably need to know is how to start a new project. If you hit control N, then you're going to create a new project and start editing right away. All right. Now let's talk about some real quick things that are really valuable. I'm not going to go through every keyframe or key uh, uh, keyboard shortcut, I mean, but I am going to cover the ones that I like to use the most. See these tabs up here, home, project, edit, export. If I use a control and then one, that takes me home. Control two takes me to the project uh, settings. Control three takes me to the edit and control four takes me to export. Man, I love that. So I'm sitting here and I'm working away and I go, man, I think I'm export that. Boom. And I go right over. I don't even have to click on it or nothing. It's fantastic. Okay. So that's the first set of keyboard shortcuts that I like to do. Let's say that I want to create a new composite shot. I hit control shift and N for new and it makes a new composite shot. Let's say I'm in that composite shot and I want to create a new plane. Then I say control alt A for a new plane, okay? You can find all these shortcuts by just looking at them and memorizing Control alt t and so on and so forth. For the rest of them are over here, right? They're sitting here too. Almost everything will kind of tell you what they are, okay? As you're, as you're sort of going along, right? Now I may want to drop down here and leave this here. A lot of these are kind of standard, right? Control z for undo and, and Control y for redo and Control s for save and things like that. Those are things that you'll always see. So let's talk about um, moving around here in the editor timeline. Okay, first of all, we got to talk about these old guys right here. These are select tool is V, the little hand tool, drag tool is H. I call it hand tool. Uh, the slice tool is, it's not coming up, but it's C. The um, slip tool is Y. The slide tool is U. The ripple edit tool is R. The roll edit tool is E. And interestingly, there's no hotkey for the rate stretch tool. All right, now see this little slider down here? If I want to make it bigger, make this area bigger or smaller, you can slide that thing around. But if you use control plus makes it bigger, control minus makes it smaller. A lot of times I'll jump up to that 35 second looking time frame there, okay? And if I say C, now I have the slice tool, I can just start slicing this thing up, right? And I could do all my slices and then I hit V and I'm right back into my uh, thing where I can grab it and slide it around and do all that kind of stuff, right? Okay, all right, let's talk about setting in and out points. Let's say I wanna set an in point right there. What I do is I can, of course, drag the in point over there or I can just hit the letter I and it sets it right there for me. Let's say I want the output out point to be right there. Hit the letter O. There you go. What if I want it to cover everything? I want the in point to be at the beginning and the out point to be at the end of my content. Hit the letter P and there you go. You've set your in and out points to match your content. You know, that's really pretty cool. All right. What if I want to go to, and I'm going to, what if I want to go to the beginning of my timeline? I hit home, right? If I want to go to the very end, I hit end. So home is to the beginning and is to the end. It's really that simple, right? What if I want to just move one frame at a time, right? Well, next frame is the period key. If I just hit the period key, you can see that that is moving up one. If I hit the comma key right next to it, then it goes back down. What if I want to move 10 frames at a time? Then I hit shift and the period key and it moves 10 frames at a time. What if I want to go backwards 10 frames at a time? Shift and the comma key will take me backwards, which is really pretty cool. Now, what if I want to just jump to the next uh, slice or the next thing on the timeline? I hit the page down key and it moves me to the very next one. If I hit the page up key, it'll move me backwards, you see? So I might be working in the middle of this and it's really big, right? And I want to move to the next one. I hit page down, boom, and now I'm there. Now I want to go again. Ah, oh, see how easy that is? It's just really simple, okay? It's ridiculously easy to be able to do that kind of a thing. So I just love that. I really do. All right. What if I want to just play it? 
I want to move forward or backwards. Well, I can hit this play button, of course, right? But here's the thing. If you look at your keyboard, you have J, K, and L. L plays forward. If you hit that, then it starts playing forward. J plays backwards. So you can back it up and watch it again, hitting L, and then hitting J, and then hitting L. And at some point, I go, OK, I'm done, and I hit K, and that's pause. So L goes backwards. K is pause. Sorry, J goes backwards. K is pause. L is forward. They're right there on your keyboard on the right-hand side. It's pretty easy. You can toggle loop your playback also by hitting Control L as well. How do I actually start changing these? Maybe I'm not real fond of these. Well, you know what? It's real simple. You say File, Options, and then Shortcuts. Now, some of them you can't change. If there's a lock by it, then you can't change it, OK? But then these ones here, you can. So let's say I want to change the set in point. I don't like I. I double click on that, and then I hit another key. And now that other key is my new um, hot key for this. OK, what if I just said, man, I'm going to go back to, I just reset it. OK, or I can reset them all just like that. OK, so that's sort of how you do it. Now, what if I'm in the viewer panel itself? See how I have this thing here and he's kind of hanging out. In fact, I could come in here and look at this. These have the same shortcuts as the other ones, select, etc., so on and so forth. Right. Except that the rectangular mask is R. The elliptical mask is E and the freehand mask is F. They also have keys, you know, for uh, if you're in 3D and stuff like that. OK, they're basically the same. All right. But if I want, uh, let's say I want to create or let's say I'm working with keyframes here. Right. Let's say I have position keyframe there and I and then, you know, here we go. Uh, let me put a keyframe. Uh, there and let me put one there and let me put one there and there. Okay, I'm creating those by uh, the uh, Alt T, by the way, Alt T. Um, and let's say I want to jump to a keyframe. The easiest way to do that is just to double click on that keyframe. If I double click on that keyframe, I'll jump right to it. But let's say that I just want to move between keyframes. What do I do? Well, I hit Alt and then the period key moves me forward and Alt. My or um, comma key moves me backwards. So alt period, alt comma makes it real easy. All right. The last thing I want to cover in this is what if I want to sort of move these uh, this thing around, right? How would I do that? Well, of course, I can use this arrow and slide it right and slide it. And you can see it's sliding and stuff, right? I can zero these out by tabbing through them, of course. But also I can use my arrow key. So if I hit the up arrow key, you can see that that is changing. It's going up. If I hit the down arrow key, it goes down on the Y axis. If I hit the left arrow key, it goes to the left one pixel at a time. And if I hit the right arrow key, it goes to the right uh, one pixel at a time, right or left and right, so on and so forth. OK, if I hit the shift and up arrow key, then it goes 10 pixels at a time. And if I hit the shift and down arrow key, it goes 10 pixels that way. Sort of like when I hit shift uh, and plus and, my, and comma to go 10 frames. If I hit shift and I hit the right arrow key, I'm going to the right 10 pixels at a time. And same if I hit the left arrow key. So those are kind of the big shortcuts that I like to use. Um, there may be a lot more that you like. There's a bunch of them. So again, I've created a HitFilm 4 Express keyboard shortcut quick reference sheet. And if you want it, you can have it. It's a PDF form. It's only 17K. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I hope you get good use out of it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.